the house. Yeah, man. Ah. It's good to be home. Yes. I need to wow. call for a professional nanny ASAP. Do you have anybody in mind? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm sure. Still, I should know someone. I'll ask her. <laughs> you should ask her. Yes, I will. Aww. See my baby. I know. <laughs> She's sleeping. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me go inside and change her. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Are those all the bags? You know we still have more. You need to grab Yeah, them. let me just get the other ones from the boot. Oh. So you want me to help you open the door? I don't know what's wrong with the door. Fantastic, I feel awesome, man. That's all I can say about that. Oh my god. What I can tell you is that my baby mama and I, we are happy about the arrival of our newborn. And uh, yeah, our family is great. We're awesome. Good. You look gorgeous. Thank you. How would you describe your experience of uh, giving birth in London? Awesome. As a matter of fact, I am. Um... Uh, okay, this is okay. Uh, it's fine. Enough please. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. I'm coming. Baby. Oh. <laughs> what kept you? The traffic was terrible. It's fine. But guess what? What? Yolanda is back in the country. Really? Yes, I just saw her on TV with you, man. Okay, let's go, please. <laughs> Stella's bringing a nanny today. Oh, she found one already. Yeah. That's great. You know, she likes to do stuff like that. And at least you have time to do all the stuff for yourself. Hey, look at you. Hey, girl. <laughs> you look lovely. Thank you. I, I hope I... I'm good. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Hi, Timon. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Sorry, I can't get up to say hi. It's fine. Look at the beautiful blessings. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, good. You okay? She's so cute. I know. She's so cute. 
great. Good, baby. You all right? Santa Jafita. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's I great. So that's great. That came. Yeah, um, I can be there in like 20 minutes. Is that okay? No, right, give me like 20 minutes. I'll be right there. I see you, so. Okay, bye. So small. Mm -hmm, I know, so tiny. Baby? Yes, please. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, Jovita. See you later. Bye. 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 She looks like Tima. Like, I know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to sleep. Hey, hey girl! Hey. hey! How are you doing? Hi. Hey, how guys. are you? Just look at our princess. I oh know. my god, she looks like daddy. I Can know. I see her no. <laughs> How are you doing now? Good. How far? I will miss you too. How far now? Thank you. Okay, that's the girl we talked about. Hey, Nima. Oh, hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Nima. All right. All right. Welcome. Thank you. Babes, are you really sure about this girl that you brought? Mm -hmm. Trust me, she's very, she's hardworking, she's experienced, she's loyal, she's <laughs> Oh my dear, she just came inside and she was like, she was so hard. Let's go now. I'm oh, ready? ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Babes, babe, but I still find it strange that you want to leave your newborn baby with a nanny you employed like an hour ago. Well, that's why I employed her. It's, it's her job. But you haven't even assessed her to be sure she's competent enough. Well, I trust Stella's judgment. But still... Stop being an alarmist. Ah, babes, your baby is in safe hands. I trust Philomena. She's an experienced nanny. Please, can we go? Enough of this argument. Okay. All right. And listen, <laughs> let me just quickly say this, eh? I spent six months, or rather, I spent nine months being pregnant. I'm ready to slay now, I beg. Let's As in, you know people who ah, I beg, I beg. <laughs> doesn't care if he's treating on him or not? She doesn't do at all. And what is, why did she get pregnant for him? Well, according to Yolanda, she just likes being his baby mama, that's it. Really? Mm-hmm. Queer decision, if you ask me. Queer or not, it's her life and she likes it. <laughs> um, that reminds me, T-Man is taking us to the Prince Club tonight. Us. Yes, us. Who is us? Jelena and I. And why are you involved? Why are you going with them? Because Yolanda is my friend. And it's not a crime to go out to my friends, is it? That's the boyfriend taking you out, and I don't like it. Nelson, I honestly do not like it when you come up with this, your unnecessary jealousy. You know that I don't like it. I'm going there because of Yolanda, not because of T-Man. Besides, don't you take Yolanda and I out? Does T-Man complain? Stop it. I don't like it. Buy me pizza. You know, buy me pizza. You're coming to tell me I should not go anywhere. Sorry. Sorry. Um, what's wrong? Why 
she crying? I think she's hungry. She needs breast milk. Oh, baby. Oh. She can't breast milk. Didn't I just feed her like two hours ago? Adam, two hours is quite a long time. Ha! At this rate, my breast is going to serve now. Feeding all the time. What's wrong? Sorry, Ma. Oh, she's already sleeping now. That means she's trying to sleep. T man and my friends are coming to pick me up very soon. I'm not supposed to leave her just like this. Yes, ma. I'll take care of her. girlfriend is out there and possibly with another man maybe I should go there and find out what she's up to can't bear to lose Josephita to another man I love her so much Hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. You okay? So, so you walk out here? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait. I hope my eyes are not deceiving me. I don't Aren't you Sean, the, the music star? I am. Oh my god. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really happy to see you one on one. I'm excited to see you too. <laughs> you know, actually, you actually wild me the other day. The other day? With your dance moves. Yeah, come on, last Friday at the Prince Nightclub. <laughs> oh, you were there? Yes, I was. <laughs> I don't recall seeing you. No, of course, you can't see everybody at the club. Even if I danced with you, I'm sure you wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to see you, though. Thank you. Yeah. Now, you know what? I've been hoping to see you, you know, because um, I'm dropping an album pretty soon. Okay. And there's this track on my album that I titled Dance For Me. So. 
I intend to shoot a video in Dubai and I was hoping that if you could take some time off your very tight schedule to grace the screen, like be a victim of my video. <laughs> Wait, you're joking. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. Of course! <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> I knew you were going to say yes. Of course, are you joking? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You still, you still? I'm really excited. Thank you. I am more excited. Mm -hmm. So, can we shake the ass? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um, you need to get to know. Stay around? Yeah, I do stay around. Okay. All right. Then. Yeah. Take care. Hi. you. Same here. <laughs> oh my god. It's just crazy. I'm telling you. But at least they really do. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Bye. He was the one that just called me. <laughs> Who? Sean, of course. Uh uh. Really? Wow. But. Are you sure he was at the club that day? Well, that's what he said. But I didn't see him. Yeah, I didn't either. Anyways, I'm just really excited that I'm going to be dancing in this musical video very soon. Babe, oh. <laughs> if I was here, I'll just find a way to, you know, snuggle my way into his heart, into Sean's heart, of course. Then dump that Nelson guy. Please, I'm not interested. All these musicians are very, very, very promiscuous. I don't want, I can't, they can't be trusted. Yeah. And why are you concerned about that? Ah, ask her. Oh. She's only saying that because she wants to be married, right? And you now want to turn to punching bag or second fiddle for a man. Well, as for me, I just want to be an independent woman and single mother for life. I don't want any man coming into my life to play this husband role thing. Hmm. I beg. God forbid. Listen, if you're wiser, eh, you will listen to us. This marriage thing is just a mirage. Forget about all this. And do you know what you stand to gain by being an independent single woman? Do you? <laughs> My dear, forget this marriage thing, eh? <laughs> Let's just go. Absa, thank you. You like girl. What's like your own? Girl. I said thank you now. No girl. Let's go. Let's go. If they stress you in marriage, if they come to one Please open the door. door. Yeah, sure. Um, honey, there's something I'm thinking of doing. What? Well, I'm thinking of going into importation. Importation? Yeah. Hmm, that's good. So what do you want to start importing? Maybe wearables and... Sorry, excuse me. Hey, Shen. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, sweetie, could you come over to my hotel room? Um, so we could talk about our trip to Dubai. Oh, okay. What time do you want me to come? Let's say 5 or 6 p.m. Cool, just um, send me the address and the room number and I'll be there. Alright then. Bye-bye. Bye. And who is Sean? Sean? Um, you don't know Sean? Sean, the popular musician. And what business do you have with him? Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you want to leave me here to go see another man in a hotel room? Look, I don't like this. Okay? I don't. Did you even ask me what I'm going there to do? Do I... Do I need to know what you're going to see a man for in a hotel? Huh? Look, if you can't trust me, please leave me alone. Hi. <laughs> Come hey. in. How are you? So good to see you. Same here. It's good to see you too. Please sit. I'm fine. I just stand. Come on, my bed doesn't bite. Just, just sit down. All right. Okay. So. What do I offer you? 
Nothing. I'm fine. Nothing. Why? Okay. Nothing for now. Maybe later. <laughs> okay, or you're eager to know why I invited you. Yeah, kind of. Um, you said it's supposed to be about a trip to Dubai. Yeah, <laughs> that. But apart from that, there's something very important I want to tell you. Yeah. Okay, what could that be? And about my music video shoot. Come on, that's a done deal. All right, I'll let you know when we're ready. Okay. Stop staring at me like that. Why are you staring at me like that? Sorry, sorry about that. I really want to tell you something. What? I want you to be my woman. I really desire you and there's nothing else I wish for right now. Please don't say no. Please. You'll regret it. Look, you both already know that I'm in a serious relationship. I beg, babe, cut that crap. You, you have come with this your relationship talk again. I beg, who relationship help? Consider the glitz, the fame, and the glamour you being with Sean will bring you. Uh -uh. Exactly. When I just started dating T Man, I used to travel around the world. Okay? Imagine doing that and just going to different countries. You don't even want to know the feeling of having your baby in the best hospital in the world. Awesome. She's the one calling me. Please speak the damn call. I'm picking it. Hello? Hi. Really? Tomorrow? Okay. Uh, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. Bye. Bye. Still. Well, he wants me to come with him to Abuja for a minister's party that he was invited to. End of discussion. If you like, squander your freedom just to be typed one silly man. You yeah? hear? <laughs> Thank you. I heard. I cannot leave my boyfriend though. I'm coming. Hi. Good evening, honey. Good evening. Good evening. You you don't look yourself. What's the matter? It's nothing, I'm fine. No, 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 this is not your face. You can share anything with me. It's nothing, I'm fine. It's just, I have a lot of things on my mind. I'll be fine. Okay, if you say so. Um, I think it's our time we defined our relationship. What do you think? How do you know? I, I actually, I actually planned it to be in a more cozy way. But as it stands now, you can't wait any longer. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that... Um, I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the mother of my kids. Nelson, please, I, I don't want to talk about marriage right now. Please just keep your bosom to yourself for now, please. Is it that you don't want to get married now or what? 
I just have a lot of stuff on my mind, and marriage is the last thing on my mind right now. Whoa! <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm good. You missed um, the minister's bash last week. Everybody that's important in this country was there. I know that kind of party is where you make all the connections. Now, you shouldn't miss something like that. Yeah, I know. I know I missed a lot. So, how are you? I'm good. I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Um, you see, I'm traveling to South Africa in two weeks for a show, so I was hoping that you could come with me. Okay, while you're thinking about that, maybe we should meet and talk about it, all right? It was nice seeing you. <laughs> Same here. I'm not joking, though. It's been two weeks since I last heard from Tima. Huh? It's not like I really need him like that for his attention. It's just the attention for the child. I'm impressed people start talking about us if you know what I mean. What, are you sure he's okay? He's fine. You know he's gotten another girl pregnant. Huh? Yes. Sure she's the one taking all his attention now. Wait, though. He has a new baby mama. Mm-hmm. That makes you more or less an old baby mama. Stella. And before you know it, the press will shift their attention from you to his new baby mama. Hey! Stella, please stop. Stop. There's no such thing as old or new baby mama, okay? Hey. Let's just say I'm his first baby mother. Uh-huh. Anyways, I'll go with that description. Uh, what do you call it again? New and... Oh, sorry, I mean... Uh, first and second... First and second. it's not funny. No, but... Hey, girls! Uh-uh. Hey! What's your name? What's your name? What happened? Uh, Did you uh, win lottery or...? I, I, I feel the excitement from me. I feel my bag dropped this. What's up? Well, this babe you're seeing right here mm -hmm. has just gotten a very special invitation to the biggest concert ever organized in South Africa! Oh, I know you! My friend! Thank you. 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 I don't want the baby to be a distraction. Mm -hmm. Stella, can you stop? My <sighs> boobs are already sagging. Something I feared. Maybe that's why Tima doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Hello, Mina. Ma? Do you think I'm so beautiful? Yes, Ma, you're very beautiful. Truth? Yes. Thanks. your greetings to yourself. What do you mean that you're traveling to South Africa today? What don't you understand? As you can see, I'm on my way to the airport. 
and you were just telling me on the phone. Why would you wait until the day you're leaving? What difference does it make if I told you earlier? Jovita, I don't get this. Jovita, you, you, you... Please, Nelson, okay? Let's talk about this when I get back. Okay, I don't want to miss my flight. And besides, I don't want to keep Sean waiting. All right? Jovita, are you working out on me? Jovita! 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 of that. What has come over you, Jovita? What have I done again? Are you, are you really asking me what you've done again? That some sort of guy is kissing and hugging you and you're asking me what you've done? And what is wrong with him kissing and hugging me? Huh? Really? Wait, wait a minute. Are you cheating on me? <sighs> Nelson, look, the truth is, I'm now with Sean. What? But it's with these things that we got, we will have to like come back again. <laughs> it's crazy, I love it. <laughs> oh, come on, darling. You don't need to be scared. I didn't mean to scare you, okay? You don't have to be. I just came here to give you a piece of information that I think you're going to find very much interesting. I mean, it's going to bust your bubbles. Pure Chris. Pure Chris. Oh, yes, let me help you with that. Hold on. My name is Monica, and I am a banker by profession. And by God's grace, very soon, I am going to be T Man's new favorite baby mama. <laughs> Hey, I'm not bluffing. I am not because hey. as we speak, as we speak, I am carrying his baby in my golden womb. And you know what, Yolanda? <laughs> it's going to be a boy. <laughs> yes. And the time, I mean, you've enjoyed all the publicity and that is over. It's my turn now, baby. I mean, this is the part where you girls clap for me. You know what? I'm <laughs> Oh, angry bird! Angry bird! <laughs> Girls! <laughs> Girl, I love the expression on your face. It's expensive! Girl, you have expired. Call me Monica. Anyway, my name is Monica. You can call me Monique for short. I love it! Just imagine. Uh-uh. 
rubbish. Can you just imagine this girl? Eh? Imagine the idiot telling me that my reign is over. What does that even mean? Maybe she's giving birth to the king of the whole world. <laughs> oh, please. But I don't want to do no, leave her now. Just leave her. I'll soon cut her down to her own side. Me, I have a girl. She has a boy. She thinks she's... No, no, there's no problem. Where's my baby, Seth? You guys, make yourself on table. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, well, that baby's funny, yo. She's giving birth to... Like a Jackson, I'll be Jesus. I beg. Sleep, me, I sit down. Hey, God. I need something to drink. Babes, I'm yeah. thirsty. Same here. Uh, uh. Who's that? Uh, uh. I said, who's that? It's me, Javita. Oh, babes. Give me a minute, I'll be with you. Seems like you've been yearning for this hug for a while now. Well, maybe that's because I have something very important to say to you. Okay, sit and tell me about it. But you look hot, Star. Do you really think I'm hot? You are hot. <laughs> Speak for me. Look at that. You're the hottest person I've seen in a very long time. And I love you. You know, you saying that actually makes me very happy. Really? <laughs> you said you wanted to tell me something. Yeah. So, I'm listening. Yeah. Okay, so... What is it? <sighs> actually, um... I'm pregnant. Wait, <laughs> you, you what? Pregnant. You're pregnant, pregnant for who? For you, of course. How could you get pregnant? I beg your pardon. Don't beg my pardon now. You know this is not right. What are you getting pregnant for? Okay. No, for real. <laughs> why, why are you raising your voice? I didn't do this all by myself. Oh my god. Listen, I don't have time for this, all right? This was a mistake. Listen, you're going to get rid of this. You're joking. I'm not joking. You can't trap me to marriage with this thing. Do you understand? Who in the world is talking about marriage? Is that not what this whole thing is about? This whole pregnancy thing, is that not what it's about? Wow. <laughs> Listen. Can... I... <sighs> Look. I am pregnant. For you. And I felt like it is your right to know that I am pregnant. And that's it. But that's what you all do. I don't think I don't know. Now, if you're sure that this is mine, you're going to get rid of it. And if you decide to keep it, I don't want to have anything to do with it. All right? I have no business with you. You're not going to hold me responsible for this. I make myself clear. No, you don't, because you sound right now like someone who's irresponsible. No, you're not going to call me names here, all right? As a matter of fact, you're leaving my room. Out. You're joking, right? Listen, if I have to say it again, I'll be kicking you out. Now. You Shut want me to ah! out. Get out of my room. Pregnant for me. 
<laughs> me how where was I speculation going around that the lady who is currently pregnant for you is likely to give birth to a baby boy. <laughs> Should this be true? Or would you consider her for marriage? Or she's going to be another baby mama like Yolanda? Well, I don't know about that. What I do know is that she's uh, carrying my baby. And um, as we all know, children are gifts from God. <laughs> we can't refuse them when they come, can we? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Well, Sima, is it safe to say that you are more interested in having baby mamas than having wife and you are not bothered of the future relationship and cycle of those children you are having from those different women? Look, I don't understand. What kind of crazy question is that? I mean, can't you ask me questions about my, my music? Does it have to be something about my private life? You know, if you can ask me any question, ask me something about my music, man. Come on. Fine, it's all for business, so let's get down to it. Perfect. So, Stella tells me you're the best person for the job. Of course, I can take that to the van. Great. Um, what I really want is I want her to lose her pregnancy. Okay? I want a clean job, very neat, no traces. Sure how thing. you do it is not my business. So you find out how to do it, but I just want her pregnancy off. Sure, you can count on me. I'll give you a new job. Trust me, Rudy's the best man for the job. Okay, that sounds good. So, how will it cost? I'm sure you know this is a complicated job. I mean, getting her to lose her pregnancy, that could be very tricky. How tricky. much will it cost? Two million naira. One million. One point five, no more, no less. <sighs> okay, one point five then. But please, you must deliver. Very important. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? I'll give you a new job. That is what you want. Sure. All right, then. So I'll get to you when I need you. Fine. Thank you. All right, see you guys. Okay. Yeah, take care. Why did you want the job as soon as possible? Oh, I want him to pay for it. I'm going to ask him for the money. <laughs> How? Uh-uh. Who put me in this mess before? He's the one, so he has to pay for it. I'll just tell him I need money for something and I'll get the money for him. Badass. <laughs> I'm a more Lego, Jerry. Ah. You get to understand his reaction when I told him that I was pregnant. <laughs> he was so cruel. <laughs> I was so shocked. <laughs> one minute. I was the love of his life. And the next minute, I was bad news. <laughs> That's meant for you. That's meant for you. That's how they are. He was, he was so angry. He even asked me to abort the child. Is he mad? What did you tell him? I told him I wasn't going to do such a thing. Good. But I'm scared and I'm worried. About what? About my child. My baby needs a father. And now he has turned his back on us. What am I going to do? So you 
going to do? You're going to take care of the child yourself. Uh -uh. You don't need Sean to take care of the child now. Look at me. I'm taking care of my child. Well, you have Seaman. Seaman is taking care of you and your child. Come on, Jovi. See, whether he accepts the child or not, or cares for the child or not, the ultimate thing is for you to be an independent woman. So that no man will walk into your life and start dictating, tell you, telling you what to do and what not to do. You're going to. I'm going home. Why? Because right now I just want to be alone. Babe, calm down, you will take it easy. <laughs> you okay? Come on, stop, stop. Leave me alone. I have no idea. Yeah, who's it? What are you doing here? I just came to say. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything from you. I don't want to hear any apologies from you, okay? In life, we make choices, and we're bound to live with them. See, I don't want to see you close to this address ever again. Now get out. I'm sorry. Get out! Yeah, I'm sorry. Get out of my music! Do you have to know why? I don't understand. Do I have to tell you everything that I use money for? You know, I'm a big girl in my own right. I'm not doubting that. I'm just asking why do you need it? I mean... So we'll just stop the interrogation and just give me the money. You know I wouldn't ask you for anything if I didn't need it. And I'm not broke. I just have my money tied somewhere. I need 1.5 million like ASAP. Okay, all right, all right. I'll give you the money. So, uh, can we stop talking about money now? Like, you should stop bugging. <laughs> Am I giving you troubles? Yeah, a lot. I mean, almost all the time. I mean, money or this or that. No. Whatever. Why are you smiling so much? I'm just looking at a picture of the three of you. Let me see. Who's the cutest amongst you? Uh, it's a little difficult to tell. Okay, I mean, of course you're the cutest. Yeah, I mean, you have these uh, extra accessories, you know, your curves and everything. <laughs> yeah. They can't be it. Better. Can I have some water? I think it's in stuff. Why was I so slow to say something to you? At least tell you how I feel. And I've been deliberately trying to avoid you. Avoid getting close to you or even, you know, just talking to you. I don't even believe like someone like me deserves a girl like you. Damn, Time, why are you even talking like this? It's not you, it's not you, Time, just stop it. You're not supposed to be falling in love. It's not you. Forget her, she's too good for you, in fact. Just, just leave her, leave her. Uh, 
Hey. Hey. Sylvia. What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm good. Hi. What are you doing here all by yourself? I wasn't all by myself. I was with Yolanda and Stella. But okay. they, they rushed out after they got in a lot of the phone. All right, but why are you sitting here still? Because I just want to be here. All right, but is everything okay? You look like you are in trouble or something. I'm fine. You're fine. Where are you going? Home. Am I troubling you? I can leave if you don't want me to sit here. No, I just want to go home. Okay. Can I at least uh, drop you home, give you a lift? No, I'll be fine. Thank you. Please let me drop you home. It's not a bother. I just want, just want to drop you. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Rudy, hi, good to see you again. Nice to meet you guys again. Um, let's just get down to business. This is a check of one millionaire. I'll be giving you 500,000 when the deal is done. Deal? No deal. What do you mean? You heard what I said. Listen, I don't return to my clients after collecting a job from them. So I wouldn't come back to you after the job. If you want to pay me, the money has to be in. For once I'm done with my job, I'll go my way, you go your way. I don't know you, you don't know me. Okay? I don't understand. What if you don't carry out the assignments? What if you don't deliver? So you just take my money and go like that. Okay, I'll collect this one million. I'll give you back. I'll give you your 500 when we're done. Very well, then I guess you should look for someone else to do the job. Nice meeting you guys. Are you kidding me? Rudy, wait. Rudy, wait now. Rudy! <laughs> oh, see, babe, I brought this guy to you. Eh? Just pay him his money complete. This guy will deliver. Pay him his money complete. Let's get done with this whole thing now. Nah. So what if he doesn't deliver? What am I supposed to do? Uh, you lad, calm down. You know, I, I stop being uptight and pessimistic about it. This is how most professionals behave these days, though. They do not want anything that will make them return to their clients. And eh, because just pay him. Let's finish this whole deal. All right, call him. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Anytime, Jovita. Hey, Jovita! A minute, please. Look, uh, I, I just, uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to come over as uh, inquisitive, but I, is, is something bothering you? Is, is something wrong? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm happy. All right? Oh, Thanks. Look, I, I know I don't know you very well, but I mean, from your face, 
I've been sitting in the car for a while and I just, I just feel like uh, there's something See, man, troubling I'm you. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you for caring. Should we, should we turn? Come on. Look, I don't know how to say this, but I think I just, I just have to let you know, I, I'm, I'm in love with you, Jovita. I'm in love with you. There's definitely something wrong with you. But I... What did I say wrong? I mean, I... I love you. Oh, Rudy, <laughs> you see, I told you that I was going to get back before you, and I did. <laughs> and are you sure you did? Yeah, of course I did. Why not ask my wife? She will hmm. tell you who came home first. Wifey. <laughs> yes, he got back home before you. Uh, mm. I need chairman, as if I had no idea that you're going to declare him the winner even before counting the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, everything went through as planned. I've cashed the money already. Okay. And yes. how much did you pay into my account? 500,000 Naira. And? And what again? See, 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 Rudy, don't mess around with me. You know I don't joke when it comes to money. What about um, the one million Naira? Um, baby, calm down. Don't you trust me anymore. I paid the money into our joint account as agreed. Well, do you want an evidence? Uh, mm. Well, no need for that one. I'd rather wait for a credit alert. Then hold on. Hey, hey, money. You still need to keep up with the pretense of being pregnant until we come up with another idea to get more money from Yolanda. You get, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. Um, talking about other plans, I already have one. You do? Of course. This is Ruby talking. Rudy, Rudy. Of course, baby. Rude boy. <laughs> uh, the idiot is calling. Who? Oh. Um. Yolanda, of course. Who else? Mm -hmm. Hey, girlfriend. Oh, OK. <sighs> Okay. Okay, okay. Mm. Damn, man. Okay, sleep. happening to me. I can't even explain it. I can't sleep. She 
is just all into my head. <sighs> Javita, see what you're causing. See what you're doing to me. Javita, you're just all into my head. Hi, she. Yeah, <sighs> sleeping. No. Um, <sighs> um, did you change your diapers? Yes, I did. Mm hmm. You say something about Jovita. I say something about Jovita. Uh, what I was saying was, um, when I took her home, she was acting a bit strange, you know, she was just quiet in the car, you know, she looked like she was depressed or depressed or something, like she has something on her mind, you know. Since when did Jivita become your problem? Yolanda, she's not like a problem, but I think, uh, you know, people can be depressed without saying anything. And she's your friend. I, I thought I'd just uh, tell you, maybe you would know what's going on with her, that's all. Well, I don't think she has a problem, Sha. Okay, if you say so. I mean, you say the person who's wearing the shoes no way pinches the most, so. Oh, Joe, I think it's because she's pregnant for Sean. Mm hmm. He doesn't even want to have anything to do with her. And the worst part is he's not accepting a pregnancy. He actually wants her to abort it. Sean B. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wait. You mean, Chavita is pregnant? Yeah, to the best of my knowledge. Mike, 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 close the gate, close the gate. Hello? Hello? Who's that? Hey, how did you be there? Hi. Um, how are you? I'm good. What do you want? I, uh, I just, um, just came to apologize to you for yesterday. You know, um, I, um, <clears throat> I want you to know that I'm not angry at you for what happened. You know, I, just, I mean, I'm cool. I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I understand. <sighs> Okay. Thank you. Can I go now? Chovita, Chovita, wait. Come on. Chovita, I just... I don't know, but I, I want you to... This might sound a bit strange, but I, I, I also want you to know that I want to be that person you can lean on, that shoulder you can lean on, you can cry on, and, uh, you know, that person you can trust, you can call when you have See, issues. Man. If you were looking for another baby mama, I am not available, okay? Because I have my own problems to deal with and I don't want you to come add your own headache to it. Well, come Excuse on, come on. Look, Jovita.
think we need to go see Jupiter. Why? I don't know. I just don't think she's handling things too easily. I mean, Tim and even noticed, and he spoke about it yesterday, which is alarming. I don't know why that guy acts like a child. Yeah, but I think she has a point, though. She's probably doing the right thing. If I really think about it, I think I'm making a mistake. What are you talking about? Rodi, what's up? I'm good. Stella is here. Oh, that's great news. So you're saying she's no longer pregnant as we speak? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, great news. So, what is the second information? Excuse you? Are you crazy? <sighs> what is this? Brady's trying to blackmail me. I don't know. I, I think that's a joke. I think I'm being pranked or what? Eat your food. Rudy. You Tima, what's going on today now? I'm not even feeling you. I don't know. I, I, I just can't concentrate, man. I just can't concentrate. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute, okay? Can't concentrate. You, you know what? You delete, delete that, please. Why are you here? We have work to do. I, had, I don't know, man. I just I just can't think. You know, I have something on my mind. Something is bothering me in my mind. I know. I, just, I, know. I don't know. I know something is bothering you. So what is it? It's about... It's about Jovita, man. I, like, you know, I just can't get her off my mind. And I thought... I thought I had gone past her, but... She just keeps coming on my mind every single time, man. Sorry, bro. Could you please excuse us? Yeah, just give her a minute. Please. Just give us a minute. You know, see, I've been thinking. This Jovita, what's so special about her that you want to leave Yolanda for her? You won't just understand, man. She's she's special. She there's something about her that I just can't explain. And I've been attracted to her from day one. I didn't tell you, but when I met the three of them. I, I, I was I was drawn to Jovita, man, you know? But at the time, she was dating somebody. I didn't know how to get through to her. Then Yolanda, you know Yolanda, man. She She's so sneaky. She just came on to me so hard. I, I just couldn't help it before I knew it. We had sex. Then she told me she was pregnant. And the rest is history, man. But, you know, I've, I've always wanted Jovita, man. The craziest part right now is that she told me she... She didn't tell me, though. Yolanda told me she's... Pregnant, man. What? Yeah, she's carrying another person's child. I, I don't know. It's just, should I should I go for her? Should I be patient? Should I? I don't know what to do, but I know I just can't be with Yolanda. All right, um, this is a very serious one. 
um, this pregnancy, is she married to the guy? No, it's that stupid kid, you know. I, I don't even know what she's doing with him, you know. Well, see, this is, this is complicated. But <sighs> let me ask you, do you really think Jovita loves you? The truth is, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm willing, I'm ready to fight for her. That's, but I don't know, man. I feel you, man. I understand. I understand how you feel, but man, we'll be fine. Just um, give it your time. But now we we'll just have to do what we have to do. All right. Just take your time. Cool off. Then come. Let's do what we have to do. Okay. Just give me five. Just give me five. All right. Just give me five. What do you want this time? I just came to check up on you, make sure you're you're okay. Thank you. As you can see, I'm happy and I'm good. Okay? Yeah. I really do not appreciate the fact that you keep coming to my house all the time. So please, I beg you, stay away from me. No. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. Just please stay away from me. Jovita, can you take it easy? Can you just calm down? Why are you talking like this? I mean, I just, uh, you know, want to talk to you, get to, you know, know you There is more. nothing to we talk about. Talk. There's nothing to talk about, team man. All right? First of all, I am not in the right frame of mind to have any conversation with you. And secondly, I hate musicians. I can't think of having anything to do with any musician. Why do you hate musicians? Because all of you are just a bunch of irresponsible and promiscuous set of people. Look at you. You're a typical example of it. How many ladies are pregnant for you? And how many more to come? Jovita, I think you're getting it all wrong. I'm not the same person you used to know. I'm a different person. And that's why I want us to sit down so you get to know the new me. You get to have a conversation with me and you understand who I am right now, my state of mind, and what do I want from you? Just leave my house, please. I just want Tim, to man, leave my house, please. Just go. So you won't give me the chance to just sit down and have a conversation with you? Please leave. Shavita, just think about it. different. Mike, look man, I, I've thought about this. It's a hard decision for me to make, but I, I've got to do this for the sake of love, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Um, see, which love are you talking about, please? I mean, you're quitting music because of a woman. A woman who is pregnant for another man. A woman who doesn't have feelings for you. Oh God, I can't believe this. See, see, you want to throw away the only thing. The only thing that has given you so much fame and wealth because of, because of some woman. I 
make you wound on this side. And they refuse to understand this. Monica? Timan! <laughs> Monica, what is it? Why are you crying? I lost the pregnancy! <laughs> what happened? Listen, just, just calm down. Stop crying. Just. Okay, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down, please. I will be there to see you shortly. Just calm down, please. Stop crying. <laughs> Take it easy. Just, I'm sorry. Okay? I'll see you soon, please. Just, just calm down. Okay. Bye-bye. What's wrong with her? Mm. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Monica, you just Monica. kill me. You just Jay. kill me. My dear, forget that thing. Cheers, my brother. <laughs> hey! Uh. <laughs> she, she lost the pregnancy. Oh, oh my God. What did it happen? I don't know. I mean, she's not saying anything. She's just crazy. I, I, I don't. I don't. Man, I, I have to go and see her right now. Look, um, I know what I'm about to say will will hurt a lot of people, most especially my fans. But um, I've got to do this. You know, I've got to do this for the sake of love. This has been a very difficult decision for me. It's been, it's been difficult. It's been, uh, it's been crazy, you know, to say the least. But I've got to say this. Daddy. Mr. Jovita. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you sick? Alright. What a surprise. We've not been seeing you in church in weeks now. So I decided to come and check if all is well. All is well, Daddy. I can tell it that all is not well. I can feel it in my spirit. Actually, Daddy, you're right. There's something really bothering me and I think I need some counseling. What is it that is bothering you? Talk to me, child of God. Daddy, a man got me pregnant and, and dumped me. He's a musician and because of what he did to me, I started to hate all musicians. And there's this other man who's also a musician, but he has a baby with my friend. You know, he came up and started telling me that he was in love with me and all that. And I constantly told him how I hate musicians. And then suddenly, he went on air to announce that he was going to quit music. And that he was going to stay faithful to me if I accept him. Daddy, I'm confused. I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. Does he know you're pregnant for him? No, I've never spoken to him about it. Child of God, first of all, I must commend you for opening up to me. The Lord said, come to me, all ye that are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. The Lord will surely minister to your needs in Jesus' name. Amen. To start with, child of God, it is wrong to hate fellow human beings. You can hate what they do, but you don't hate them as humans. That a musician got you pregnant and abandoned you does not mean that every musician out there is bad. I think you were only unfortunate to have met the wrong person. I know you were heartbroken. Perhaps you are. 
the first thing you have to do is to forgive yourself. And then forgive the man who impregnated you. And this will kickstart your healing process. Are you with me? Yes, Daddy. Will you do that? I will, Daddy. Good. We are making progress. Now, about the other man who is in love with you, we have to take things gradually. Start your healing process first before you start talking of another relationship. Okay, Daddy. You said the man is promiscuous? Yes, Daddy. This is where prayer comes in. You have to commit this seriously in prayer. But you said he, he vowed to stop living a promiscuous life. Yes, Daddy. Don't you believe him? Daddy, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Well, I understand. In that case, you have to bring him to see me. Tell me your pastor wants to see him. Will you do that? Yes, Daddy. Good. Now, let us pray. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, money. Yeah, of course, I'm there. I'm still holding on for them. I believe they will be here in the moment. I guess they're here. I'll talk to you much later. I've got to go. Hi, ladies. Oh, please cut the crap and get straight to the point. Where's the evidence? <laughs> Not so fast. Remember, you don't cut the shots here. Eh? I do. Fine, you get the evidence when I get the three million and confirm that it's not a penny shot. Okay? I'm definitely out of your mind. But don't worry. I know what you want. Eh? I'll give it to you. Don't worry. Yolanda. No, no. Yolanda, what are you doing? No, no, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Come on. Look, look. You know, I, I joke a lot. I, I joke a lot. I was just joking. Yolanda. Oh, no, no, no. Yolanda, what did you do? Why did you shoot him? Yolanda, what did you just do? What have you done, Rudy? Yolanda, why did you kill him? Why did you kill him? Why did you kill him? You killed my husband. Your marriage. I said you killed my husband. You're married? Yes! I'm married. I am married! You just killed my husband. But nothing! I'll kill you myself. Then I wait. People not picking my calls. Are they trying to avoid me or something? <laughs> These people should not play with me. Rudy isn't taking his calls, neither is Stella. I think I have to go check them out first. I believe Yolanda has paid the money by now.
did you really stop music because of me? Yeah. Or do you want me to take a sacred oath before you believe me that I stopped music because of you? I mean, I stopped music because I... I was trying to do everything I could to make myself eligible for your love. So what are you going to do for a living now? I think business, you know, I'm still thinking about what kind of business I want to go into, but surely business. And Yolanda? Yolanda, I mean, I don't know, nothing. I have gotten her a lawyer, you know, I would just allow the law to take its course, you know. I still can't believe Yolanda was capable of doing such a thing. Um, I had Monica's insult too. Hmm. Monica, Monica. She really deceived me. Made me to believe that she was pregnant for me. But now, <laughs> the law and everything else has caught up with her and um, her life is what it is right now. There's something I want to tell you. Okay. I'm pregnant. I know. You know? How? Yolanda told me. She also told me who is responsible for your pregnancy. I want you to go back to doing music. Why? Why would you want me to go back to doing music? Well, because it's your passion and I don't want to be the reason why you're not happy. Well, I quoted music in the first place because I found something that I thought would make me happier than I was whilst doing music. So, it wasn't just because I, you know, I wanted something less. I found what I thought was quite special, and that person and I love I found in you. Well, you're gonna go back and you're gonna do music because. You have won my love. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Come here. <laughs> and I promise I'm gonna like uh, treat you like a queen every day. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything possible to protect you, and make you happy. So like you have a choice. <laughs> Okay, now you're taking control, right? <laughs> <laughs>